Let's talk data classification. This is where security gets serious. Here's the thing. You can't protect something if you don't know what it is. That's where data classification comes in. It's the foundation of any solid security strategy. So what is data classification? At its core, data classification is about figuring out what kind of data you're dealing with, labeling it based on how sensitive or valuable it is, and making sure it's handled the right way. Why should you care? Because not all data is created equal. Think about it. Your CEO's salary and the weekly lunch menu are both pieces of information, but should they be treated the same? Nope. If you mislabel data, you'll either end up wasting resources locking down stuff that doesn't need it, or worse, you'll leave critical information wide open. Common classification levels. Let's break it down. For government or military. Top secret. If leaked, we're talking serious national damage. Secret, still bad, just not catastrophic. Confidential, could cause some harm, but not the end of the world. Unclassified, pretty safe to share publicly. In the private sector, confidential, high-stakes stuff like trade secrets or customer info. Private, internal use only, like employee records. Sensitive, needs care, but not mission critical. Think internal emails. Public, totally fine if it gets out, like your company's marketing flyer. Who's involved in all this? Data owner, the decision maker. They determine how data is classified. Data custodian, usually IT. They make sure protections are in place. Users, that's most of us. Our job, don't mess it up. Auditors, they're the ones making sure everything's working as it should. One rule to live by. Not sure how sensitive that data is? Play it safe. Treat it like it's critical. It's way better to be overly cautious than to end up as a headline for all the wrong reasons.